Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. Just want to take a couple minutes to uh, let you guys know we are now offering memberships on the YouTube channel. We're going to be discontinuing Patreon. It's just easier to have it all in one place. Um, we offer five levels of member, which is uh, the same as what we had on Patreon. Um, depending on your level, you're going to get unreleased footage, members only live streams, rough cuts, bloopers, uh, connect with us uh, through Google Hangouts and social media. Shoutouts on our videos. Uh, we offer tours of the Titan II complex. We can weld your name uh, on the frame outside of door six, and that will be there forever. Um, and uh, we also have uh, merchandise links for sweatshirts and stuff. Any money we make off of this all goes right back into the complex. Uh, it costs me between our mortgage and keeping the lights on about $1,100 a month just to have this place. Um, just trying to get it scrapped out by the end of the year. And thank you guys all for any help you can give and uh, enjoy this recap episode. Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. This will be season one, episode 19. This is really a look back at uh, the last year at the uh, silo complex. This picture you're looking at right now is the way the complex looked when I bought it in May of 2019. So we're 14 months later, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to reflect on uh, where we were a year ago and where we're going over the next year. After a month of pumping, we got just about 35 feet down into the access portal, and this was my first glimpse of door six. By June, we were able to actually start wading into the launch control center. And by the end of June, we were able to access the entire launch control center, except for level one. We've documented as much of the facility as we can um, prior to scrapping it out. We installed ventilation and uh, lighting through everywhere. And this is pretty much, most of these rooms are pretty much the way they look today. Uh, most of the work we've done over the last year was in the access portal and the top of the uh, roof. There's GT from Death Wars Bunny Slippers hanging out in the Lost Control Center. Right now, a level three launch control center is dry. These are some of the pictures when we were starting to pull the or build the new roof that's on there. It's one of the early pictures of the dehumidifier. We've got the humidity down below 20% right now. And obviously for safety, we got new decking all the way through the access portal. Going back to December, um, this video was shot about a week before we got that escape shaft opened. We've been working on it that day. See, kind of the condition, um, the launch control center is still the same today. We have a little bit less water, and uh, there's no water coming from the escape shaft anymore. Uh, the only leak we have in the launch control center itself is just a little drip coming from the air intake on level two. Um, it's maybe a quarter gallon an hour, if that. The most recent work on level two of the launch control center has been we've been working on taking out the blast valve, which you can see in the far corner there. The blast valve is, um, it's got two inch bolts on it. It weighs about 1,500 pounds, so it's taken us a while. Uh, I had to go buy a new air compressor, which we're also going to be using during our scrapping operation. This brings us up to July of 2020. Although this footage is now six months old, uh, here in July, the long cableway looks exactly the same. This is where we're going to begin scrapping. Uh, the goal is with our new plasma cutter and air compressor, this steel is in pretty good condition. The rust is minimal. And uh, I'm going to spend the next few months scrapping out the 120 feet of long cableway. 
put a community post up on YouTube about a week ago asking if anybody was interested in buying six inch sections of the I-beam you see here, as well as the springs that hold up the long cable way. We've got a tremendous in interest in people buying those and preserving them. Uh, so far, we've got about 58 pieces between the springs and the I-beams that people have shown interest in buying. So that will be one of the first things we uh, put up for sale here. It's just nice to see that stuff not going to a scrapyard. As you saw last month, we finished the gantry crane up over the access portal. That's going to allow us to get this scrapping done and continue with the project. Well, guys, thanks for uh, listening, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode, which should involve cutting steel.